Welcome to Mrs. Peach Thrifty Living. I'm so happy you're here today. Today is hashtag budget meals under $5. It's hosted by our friend Brenda at Maniac Grammy's Homestead. Be sure and go and check and see what she has posted today and what everyone else that is joining in this collaboration has uh, posted also, you come up with some great ideas for lunch. Being budget meals under $5. First off, I don't have a meal I'm going to be making or showing you that I made. I will tell you about, I made a pot of soup this week. And I used some veggies from my refrigerator that I needed to. Some frozen bits of bags of frozen veggies. And put some canned pinto beans in it. And put all kinds of spices in it, and it turned out really good. I also, at church, one of the ladies had made homemade bread, and she had several loaves there, and they were giving them away. And I got a free loaf of sourdough bread, and oh my goodness, I brought it home. I had a grilled cheese sandwich, so good. I cut it really thin, and I had a grilled cheese sandwich that day, and then the next day I had a grilled cheese sandwich again. I didn't cut the bread real thick, and then I toasted to the little slices that I sliced myself and had peanut butter and jelly. So I've had some good food, and I weighed in today at Tops, and I turtled. And what does turtle mean? For us at Tops, it means you stayed the same. So I'm happy about that. I want to show you what I did today. And I'm good. I have a little video. If it works, I tried it. I went to Chipotle's right here. And I bought this. And you will be able to see how they put it together. This is loaded, and now this was nine dollars and some change. I think it said nine ten plus tax. <laughs> they give me a tortilla. It's the big round one, so I'm gonna be having that, and I'll probably be eating about a third of it. I wanted to show you. I dipped up what I'm going to eat now. You see, and I put some of my tortilla chips around it, and I have this left. That's going to be some good eating. Okay, I just wanted to show you. Possibly a half, but I don't think so. And stay tuned if you enjoyed this video. Remember, just because you buy something, if, even if you're eating out or whatever, you don't have to eat it all. It's most, most everything. And I told them just put a little bit of lettuce on the top because I knew I would be saving it. So I will be eating the lettuce off the top. Plus I have I have spinach I could put on top of this too. Look what I'm gonna eat today. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna see if I can video it. How you doing? Um I wanna get uh, the bowl, but can I have a tortilla too? Okay. And I wanna get the soap what do you call that? The yes. Um I like both. Can I have both? Look at that big tortilla. Oh, he's got to fold it always. Um, both. <laughs> you got good stuff. Yes, I do want to that. Mm -hmm. Yum, look at that. Okay, and uh, the peppers, can I have a couple of scoops of that if you don't mind? A couple of scoops? Yes, uh huh. And then I'll have your salsa. And corn, you got the corn. And uh, cheese. Now, is sour cream extra? Yeah. I have a little sour cream. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's perfect. And you can just put a little plop of uh, 
a lettuce on the top of it. If you can, if you can get the lid on it. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you. Here's the front of the bag. Here's the back of the bag. The only ingredients that's hard to pronounce at Chipotle's is Chipotle. See, we have them listed, and I showed you that. This is on the side of the bag of the Chipotle. Look at that. Real ingredients, and you can see this whole list of all kinds. I just had mine, and boy, was it good, and I've got more for the next day or two or three. There it is. I just made myself a grilled cheese sandwich. And it has, my friend gave us this homemade bread, sourdough bread, and I have a slice of cheese in there. And I've got butter on it. But I want to show you how I cut this. And it's hot, so I'm going to hold it with my napkin. You know, you can struggle like this to cut it. Or... You can pick it up, get your trusty kitchen scissors, and voila, look it. I have it perfectly cut. If it's too hot, just use a little napkin. I think you'll like that. If you don't do this already, try it. Thank you for watching today. I enjoy you coming so much, and I love your comments. If you haven't yet, would you please like? subscribe, comment, and share. Share if you know somebody that would like something like this. I know I learned how to order from a place like this whenever I seen somebody else that they did a video and like, you know, I ask for extra some of these things here and they are very kind. Some people don't want very much, so I think it all kind of evens out. So thank you, Brenda, for hosting this. That's Maniac Grammy's Homestead. And check and see what everybody else has done. And I pray God blesses you today. And I'll see you tomorrow.